so death row. It may be a bit confusing to some of you, but once you watch this video, it should be a lot clearer. First thing you need to do to unlock death row is go to the bureaucracy tab. You have to research legal and then death row. And it's also kind of nice to also already have execution liability. Now getting death row prisoners is the same as any other prisoner, except they are quite rare. As you can see, I can intake one now. Once I take this guy in, it may take a while for me to receive another I could intake. So definitely keep an eye out on that. Or just keep it on fill capacity and always have this guy on. Now this guy is going to come in. I already set up a bit of a death row cell block. This is quite handy to have. All you really need is cells, some parole and a canteen. And of course the execution room. The parole will be necessary for the program you're going to run. Because you need to run a program with the death row inmate. It's led by a magister in a parole room. It requires four hours and it's only one session in one room. Out of this session, a percentage is going to come. I'm now going to intake the prisoner. I'm also going to put up a few patrols for this guy so he's not all alone. This death row prisoner is also going to have a very different regime than all the other prisoners. This is quite simply because he's only allowed to be in lockdown or in a parole room or eating. That's it. He can't go anywhere else because he's a death row inmate. He's done something terribly wrong, so he needs to be punished either by death or by being put in a max cell if it turns out not to be that bad. So there we go, there's a death, death row prisoner. Quite young still, but he's done some really pretty bad stuff. Now being transported into his cell. Now for this guy we need to activate a program called Death Row Appeal. Start it, and it's going to take place uh, the next day. So let's fast forward to there. You can already see something pop up in the to-do list, which is called Death Row Inmate Status. I'll explain this a bit further when uh, he's actually had his parole. As you can see now, the parole has started for him. He's going to enter. They're going to have a little talk. And now that his percentage is going to either rise or drop. Now, as you can see, the prisoner has turned into a max security prisoner. This is because the hearing was successful meaning there's no need for him to be executed and he will just be a max security prison for life. Now, if you did need to execute him, you'd get a full lockdown. So every the entire prison would be locked down. Then you have to test your electric chair, which I have this power switch for. You turn it on and on. Then the witness would arrive. The warden, chief, and spiritual leader would proceed into the cell. You'd be escorted to the execution room where he would be executed. Out of this, you'll get a final report. The body of the prisoner will be taken to the hearse. If the prisoner was to be found innocent after the execution, and the chance of clem clemency is above 10%, the player will be fined 50 grand. If this were to happen, all other death row prisoners would be transported to another prison, pretty much meaning your prison didn't do a good enough job of researching if it was necessary for him to be executed. If the chance of clemency was under 10%, the player would be awarded with 10 grand. So pretty much the percentage we just saw was the chance of clemency. It was at 40%, meaning no need to be executed. If it were to be under 10%, that'd be the case, he'd be executed. If you have not researched the execution liability, then the chance the clemency would not be increased from 5 to 10%, meaning it'd have to be under 5% for you to allow an execution. But if you have researched it, it'd be under 10%. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Make sure to check out this video of the walkthrough I'm doing, where I'll build a prison and also eventually get to death row in the end.